to raise that thing up. Alright, again. Again. That's, that's it. That is it. I'm going to take this stupid thing for a ride. Boy, it's real bad underneath that by the transmission. All right, I'm going to take this old Nissan Rogue out. That noise you heard, I guess, was that throttle buzz. Um, I heard it going down the street, so I had to figure out where it was coming from, and I was told that, so this transmission is going to come back out. I took it for a ride before. It was variating like it was supposed to. I didn't like the engagement, though. And didn't like that buzz. Now, let me take this for a ride down the street. Let's look at the uh, RPM gauges here, uh, and then I look at the miles per hour. Here we go. So we're starting to see it going down to the 2,000 RPMs like it's supposed to. So it is actually working at 40 miles an hour. about 50 and up to 3,000 is, is variating it's going down and keeping under 2,000 rpm so it's doing its job but as I drove I heard that throttle buzz hear it as you're going down the street um, that's what made me check it out because I heard it this is, wasn't good so I I'm going to take this transmission back out to verify that is the issue and um, put in a different pump with a different valve Going, I'm going about 25 mile an hour. You'll see the RPMs go up. Actually, I'm going 40. The RPM is still under 2,000. Okay, I'm going 50. The RPMs went up and they're keeping it going down. So it is working. You stick your head outside, you hear that noise. So, I'm going to see if it was that that valve and that JF011E. Now, in the Murano, it didn't do this. So, I don't know why it doesn't in this uh, JF011E transmission not so sure even if it is that valve causing it until I take the transmission back out and switch the pumps around um, Superior came out with a valve also uh, but I'm not gonna try theirs because I don't feel like taking this out twice 
or three times so I'm not going to try theirs until I get another one then I'll see what theirs do but uh, yep so there we have it it is causing an issue it is causing an issue so I think I'll verify it moved up underneath the car here and I raised it you can hear that sound sound like like that don't like that hmm. yeah we got to get to the bottom of this we got to get to the bottom of this hmm. all right I'm sitting here at the desk here's that old valve here that was scored uh, that I took out to replace it with this um, valve here JF 11 EFC flow control valve by um, uh, was this Transgo okay you see you got a smiling face on there smiling face don't mean any there's a song about smiling faces how they tell lies so I'll find out if this is telling a lie I'll find out um, I'm up here looking at Superior. They came out with some valve now. This is new. And they call it the Jacko Nissan No Stick CVC Flow Pump Control Valve. Now, the thing with theirs, it's a solid one. It's not two-piece. And actually, it doesn't look that much different than this one. To tell you the truth, um, if you look at it on the picture, it just got less less lands on there you see this have two lands and this have less you know less lands on there so I don't know how theirs will work but they got two springs I don't know what those two springs are for um, maybe it's for different it's for something different I don't know but I'll find out I'm gonna get theirs and I'm gonna try theirs but not right now I'm not trying it on that Nissan because I don't feel like putting theirs in and having a problem either I gotta get one from Reman Valve Body in Michigan they ring theirs out. I can do that. Uh, get the Sonics ramer tool, ram it out, put an oversized flow control valve in there, and it cleans it out as it's reaming it. And then you can move back and forth, make sure everything is fine. But I, again, I don't mind trying the different products that's out there. The only thing is, they should try them. Um, on a live car, I think what they a lot of these places do Transgo. Um, I think what they do is they theorize. They say this should work. They draw up something, said it should work, and then we become the guinea pigs and we end up testing them because if this is buzzing, that means they didn't test it, and if they do test it, they they don't test it on the cars that we are faced with which are old cars with high miles on it they may test it on new cars and that is not good you got to test it on a car that got a hundred thousand miles or more on there so we can see if it's gonna work you know so once again I hear that buzzing and I don't know if it's this so we're gonna find out when I take that transmission back out and I'm not taking it out right now I got a lot of stuff to do you know, I'm tired of that car right now but we'll get it out and then you'll know if that valve is um, uh, the problem in that pump. So again, until next time, I'll try this one later.